Hello and thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. Today's video is a product showcase. This is the NVTS, also known as the Nautilus Variable Timing System. This is made by Swiss CNC. They have it engraved called the Smart Washer. It's a really ingenious design. Basically the idea behind this is that you can buy one shim and it allows you to time your mouse device. And if you look really closely at it, it has like this ladder staircase. So if you put it at the zero setting, it's the thinnest. And as you continue to time it, it gets fatter and fatter and fatter. And it allows you to time your muscle device without having to stack a bunch of shims, like something like this. And this is not a stab at this company, but I'm not a fan of the stackable shims kits because they look like a, a McDonald's double cheeseburger when you stack multiples. They don't line up. They look terrible. Um, you can use a peel washer, which are basically stainless steel shims glued together. Here's one where I've already peeled a piece off of it. They work okay. They're sort of rare now. More of a collectible thing. And then one of my favorite ones is the um, Precision Armor AccuWashers. Basically each one of these has a different thickness and you use one shim to get the desired thickness. But sometimes people have trouble finding the right ones. So this one, even though it's not a cheap solution, it's a one solution that fits all. This is reusable, but it's a really ingenious design. Basically, you find the right timing, and I'm going to do this at my vise. We'll come over. We'll just mount this old upper in here. And I already have one shim set up. You can see it has a taper. I'm going to put that taper towards the shoulder of the barrel. And something that I like to show as well is they did something nice. They added a what I call a chamfer or a bevel on the inside of the shim. Because some barrels, we'll come over to the barrel, right here on the shoulder, they have a non-sharp cut here. It should have a nice perfect L shape right here so the shim can lay all the way flat. But if it has what I call the anthill and not a sharp cut, the shim can't go, I'm exaggerating here, it can't go all the way down because it hits it. But when there's a bevel on the inside, it'll lay all the way flat. Surefire figured this out, figured this out a while ago. Here's the Surefire shim. And you can see they put a bevel on it. And that's the concept here. All solid shims should have a bevel on it to make it easy. But you can buy a chamfering kit. Um, a company called Classified Defense makes one. It bevels the inside. But this is already beveled for you, so you put it on here. Take your muzzle device, and you're going to get it within a certain amount of degrees. Of course, I'm always a fan of using the proper thread lockers here. Using the right tools. This is a forward controls tool. I like these because they have very slim jaws, and they fit perfectly around the muzzle device without getting in the way of the shim. Put your torque wrench on here, torque at the value, and you're done. So pretty ingenious little product from Swiss CNC and forward controls designs. Lots of solutions for this. Lots of ways to skin the cat, if you will. Rebel's not around, so I apologize for those who are Rebel the Cat fans. But uh, go ahead and check one out if it's something that might be interesting to you. And uh, as always, I hope you found this video educational. Thanks for watching.